guys. Today is, what is today? Today is Monday. So I had my surgery Thursday. This is the first day I have been back in a vehicle. I've not drove. I have actually been at home. We went after the surgery, came home for a little bit and chilled out. <clears throat> I felt fine. I was cramping a little bit, um, bleeding just, I mean, teeny, teeny tiny hair, just teeny tiny hair, just mostly cramping and a little woozy from the um, anesthesia. And uh, sat there for, we hung out for a few hours and guys, I had not eaten anything because you know you can't eat or drink anything before the surgery. And um, my aunt and uncle that took me, because Ronnie worked, my aunt and uncle took me. Lord, I love you guys. But, um, yeah, they took me. And, um, we stopped on the way home. We got a biscuit because we hadn't eaten anything. And, um, got home. And I was talking to the hubby, and we lost pretty much everything that had been in the refrigerator because of the ice storm. I mean, we put a bunch of stuff in a cooler with some ice, but you guys know that's not, that only keeps for like, you know, a day. And so we had a few things, um, but I didn't feel like cooking. The hubby didn't feel like cooking anything. So I was like, I feel fine. Let's go get something to eat. I'm just a little woozy, you know, a little woozy. I feel fine. So we did go get something to eat. I think I told you guys that already. And um, we did actually go to Walmart and grab a couple things for the refrigerator. We went in there long, um, walked around a little bit, come back home. And that was the only day I was out. It was the actual day of the surgery. <laughs> um, been at home, haven't left the house, just chilling out on the couch, um, snugging up with the, hu the hubby snugging up with my kitty cats and recuperate. Now they did say I would cramp for a while because um, of course your body is healing. They did go in there and take stuff out. So your body is healing. She did put in an IUD so my body's getting adjusted to that. And she said there would be a little bit of spotting and maybe a little cramping from that. So and there is. And it's pretty much only when I first wake up <laughs> Uh, when I first wake up, there's some cramping, take ibuprofen, and some days, I, couple, most days I didn't even really take anything unless the cramping was really bad. So today's my first day out. I am going to run and get my nails done. I do have to work tomorrow, so back to the, the grind of the holiday season. I trimmed my hair this weekend. Yes, I trimmed my own hair. I can do my bangs on like the front, it's the back that I can't do. But since I had it stacked and it's growing out, it's fine. I just um, went back in and trimmed my bangs a little bit and shaped up the angle. Um, this is second day hair, so it is kind of flat. <laughs> um, but lots of stuff going on. I mean, you know, I've been watching and trying to catch up with people's YouTube videos, chit chatting on Instagram chit chatting on YouTube. I did have some videos in the bank and I did um, feel like filming a few when I got home and so it's just been it's been a really cool weekend. It's been calm, relaxed and I'm glad. I'm really glad it worked out that way. Um, see school buses at my cousin. I have a family of bus drivers guys. If I've never told you my cousin DJ drives a bus. My uncle Dallas drove a bus. He is now retired and occasionally drives. And my cousin Delina drove a bus and she was also a school teacher. And she is retired but she does tutor and she does occasionally drive um, I think she substitutes and she drives school bus occasionally when they need something like that. So yeah I have a family of, of bus drivers um, going on there. So I saw a school bus and I didn't know if that was DJ or not but Let's get ready to come by. We'll see. I don't think that's him. No, that's 167. 
But uh, I'd always look for my Uncle Dallas because he drove for the school right up above my house and I would see him all the time. But that's pretty much it. We're going to go get the nails done. This is a totally different vlog style video. Yes, we're in the car, but I might take you along with me through a few errands today. I've never really done that. Um, so, um, nails. Maybe Walmart or the grocery store, one or the other. I just need to grab a couple things for the refrigerator. I might go in Bargain Hunt and see what they got. Um, and yeah, but I'm going to take you guys along with me today. And... I'm loving this new editing software, so I'm learning how to use it, and I can splice these videos together, and it's working out great. Thank you, Miss Courtney, for telling me about this one. I had one, and the apps quit working. I mean, I'd only used it for like two days. That's what I made my new intro with, and I had used it for a couple of days, and it just quit working, so this one has been working fine. I hope I did not just jinx myself. But we are at the nail salon. I just got to get across the road and up in there. So once I get in the parking lot, I will turn you guys off. And up we go. Hopefully there's not a line. Usually there is a like long ass line. And you have to wait an hour. So I'm hoping not today. Um, but yeah, let's go get our nails done. And then... On to the next spot. Hey guys, we are in Walmart. So I'll probably get some crazy looks. Um, just checking out the skincare. I wasn't really going to buy anything. Just seeing if they had anything new. I like looking for clearance stuff or markdown stuff. Oh, <laughs> Real techniques. We have a profusion set up. Hey. It's pretty much wiped out too. Profusion blush palette. Yes, yeah, wiped out. There's one chocolate, two chocolates left, three chocolates. Looks like it's only chocolates. Yeah, it's only chocolates left. We have the mask station. And I know one day I saw a sign in here that said we were getting NYX and I still haven't seen anything else. Oh, I have my nails done. Nice deep red. I always look for anything that's been clearanced as I go through here. So just looking for clearance signs. The wet and wild. Oh my gosh, guys. I want to get this wet and wild. Um, the Zodiac ones. But right now, I just don't have the funds. So, just checking out what we have. Seeing if there's anything new that's like drawing my attention not right yet <laughs> more masks they've squeezed in right here cover girl i do know i want some cover girl stuff but maybe not today maybe next payday um if you just saw emily noel's video there is some stuff marked down I don't know if that's really a markdown. Yeah, it is. The healthy, um, it's down, some of the shades are down to seven. Not bad. And, uh, looks like some of the concealers were down to seven. And 
some of the lippies are actually down to five that had been six ninety four. There's what I'm wanting. This right here is this it? Yeah, the BB cream. Um, this is the clean matte, and then this one. If I can get it off the little post, the BB Keem CG Smoother. So I don't know if this is the same as the CG Smoothers. It might be a little bit different in formulation, but I definitely want to try that one. My hair looks so bad, guys. Like I said, this is second day hair. I should have hit it with some dry shampoo. <laughs> Melting Pout went down to five dollars. Check out this side. Looks like some L'Oreal also went down. I want a real nice lipstick. <laughs> like I don't have enough lipsticks. Let's see. The Infallible Galaxy Galaxy Stick. Those went down to seven. Yeah, I look for those markdowns. Um Anything else went like down, 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 way down. Liquid lipsticks went down to $5. The infallible pressed powders went down to $7, it looks like, from 10, 10 ish. So, yeah, I'm, I always look for those. I mark down little goodies. Oh, don't knock stuff off. Don't knock knock stuff off. Next style. Let's go to the next style. Mm. Hard candy. What is that? Super cute. I'm not going to open that and mess up my nails. Fit me still five uh, 94 just a fantastic price clearance 50% off now you're talking what do we got brow products yeah. Fifty percent off, fifty five dollars. So there is a few things marked down. I want like a really pretty vampy ball shade. Well, anyway, that's supposed to be the shade. That's not too bad. Plum Paradise looks a little lighter. Do we have this one? 
$24.25. Nope, that one's not there. That's the one I really liked. Darn it. I have that one. Hmm, let's see what else we got on this side. Oh, that's one of my favorite formulas too. Oh, well. You guys know when you want something, but you just don't see what you want. Yeah. That's me today. Just not seeing anything other than that one palette that I want. I think for four eighty eight by the time I buy one lipstick. I can do one of the profusion sets for four eighty eight. And well, Shan's making a mess. Okay. Well, you know it's gonna be on the very bottom. fantasy okay I'm gonna hit the clearance off and then go get some sodas some ham and some cheese so that's gonna be my big shopping trip for Walmart Found a Christmas present. <laughs> All right. Guys, I love going through the Christmas stuff. So. bit of um, clearance stuff on this all and then it looks like mostly school supplies and then there's more on the other side just so exciting I know so exciting we'll switch hands My tin canopy. Oh, it says North Carolina on it too. No, 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 no. Oh, it's a nice big clock down there. Journal. Usually if there's clearance on the makeup section, there's clearance over here, but I don't see anything. No makeup. So, I am going to go hit the grocery section, and I'll see you in a minute. So our shopping trip to Walmart was a success, if you can call it that. So everybody is Christmas shopping. Lord have mercy, people. 
it wasn't as busy as I thought it was going to be, but it was still pretty busy um, for Monday at 4 o'clock. People trying to put these giant TVs in their trunks and they're not fitting. I'm sitting here in the parking lot just watching people try to put all this stuff in their cars and it's Lord have mercy. <laughs> I'm having hot flashes, been having them all day, been having night sweats for the last couple nights. And we actually watched a really cute movie yesterday that was called The Hot Flashes. It had Brooke Shields in it, Virginia Madsen, um, Wanda Socks. Let me back out and make sure I do not hit anything while I'm chatting with you guys. I gotta concentrate on my backing because I'm not a good backer. All right, we're out. But it had a lot of good people in the main cast. And of course, it's a, you know, um, ladies on a basketball team. They formed a basketball team. They basically have reformed their old high school basketball team to play against the current girls basketball team for charity um, to save the mo mobile mammogram van that went around town, went to different areas. So it was a really cute movie. If you can find that on Netflix or your um, fire stick, it's called The Hot Flashes. It was really cute. But if you're over 45, you'll completely understand. <laughs> oh, traffic, traffic, traffic. Okay. And it's just going to get worse, guys. It's just going to get worse till January. Don't forget, we do have a giveaway going till the 19th. Me and Miss Courtney. I will leave that video linked down below. You do have to be sub to both channels. And I know the light right now is terrible. But I'm on my way home. I was going to stop at Dollar Tree, but it was absolutely packed worse than the Walmart so no I'm not stopping at Dollar Tree I can go we're going so um yeah I was gonna stop at Dollar Tree but eh. <laughs> I was gonna run to Bargain Hunt but eh. actually I'm feeling a little woozy like I said this is the first day I have drove since the surgery and I'm still feeling a little a little woozy I don't know what it is but yeah so I just want to get back home and um, get out of the car which I'm lucky that I only live like a few minutes away but still when you're behind the wheel of a car and you don't feel 100% you need to get out from behind that wheel just saying <laughs> um, but yeah, that's probably going to be about it. Yeah, look for that giveaway video linked down below. Lots of good stuff in there. I, I will be adding little bits and pieces as we get closer to the 19th. And I actually just bought something at Walmart to put in the giveaway to make it a little bit bigger. And I don't know if Courtney does that or not, but I do. And I always add a few little things that you don't see, so there are surprises. Oh, this traffic. What else has been going on, guys? That's about it. I dread going back to work tomorrow, but I'm glad to be getting out of the house. But I just dread being kind of crampy and not, like I said, 100% and being at work. I've had a headache for like the last two days. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it or not. So I'm not taking any medication at all today. So I'm going to go home and take some ibuprofen. That's what they recommended was ibuprofen. Because I've had a headache. I have felt woozy. I have slept a lot. And I just hope tomorrow I feel okay. Because I've been cramping all day today. But like I said, I'm not taking anything. I'm not even having my coffee today, so I might go home and make me a cup of coffee. I got some pumpkin spice, and I'm still slurring, thanks to that uh, tooth being out. Yeah. Uh, pumpkin spice brioche at Walmart. It was marked down. So I am going to cut me off a little chunk of that, warm it up in the microwave, fix me a cup of coffee, and that's what I'm going to have. Last night, guys, I got the hunkering for something sweet. Oh my gosh. 
So I popped some popcorn in the microwave. We have little single serve bags. Because usually if I pop a bag, I'm not going to eat the whole thing. And once it gets cold, I don't want it. So we get like little single serve bags. So I popped up two of those. I had some almond bark and I had pecans. Yes, yeah, your North Carolina, it's pecans. Okay. So I toasted the pecans and set those to the side. Pop my popcorn, put that in a di baking dish. Took me three cubes of the almond bark and melted it down. Mixed that all together and made basically like a moose munch, but with what, like a white chocolate. Oh my gosh, there's still some left. And I told Ronnie, I was like, this would be like seven dollars at my, you know, if you bought it at the store. And sure enough, I went into Walmart and there's the tubes where you get it like in a tube, and it was like six dollars. And it probably wasn't, but about half the amount that I made last night, maybe a little, maybe a little over half the amount. I gotta get over sometime between here and my house because I live on that side of, of the highway. Once this little blue car comes on, if I can get over. Yeah, I made us some homemade moose munch. It was really, really good. Um, I'm gonna go home and maybe snack on some of that too. <laughs> Yeah, um, coffee is a definite must. I've not had any today and it's already four o'clock. So my hubby was home today sick. I don't know what got a hold of him. Cause he has not been, he's, he's been at home with me the whole time. He's not been out to get sick. So I don't know what's going on with him, but he has been, he was throwing up this morning, sick to his stomach, didn't, wasn't able to go to work. So he's been at home. And I looked for some stuff he wanted at Walmart for his tummy and they were out. So I might stop tomorrow on my way home and check um, the little Walmart, the little neighborhood Walmart I stop at to see if they've got it because they have a pharmacy. Should have went that away because I got to get over. La, 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 la. Who's been into the Christmas music? All right, come on, people. Come on. Right here. Come on. Here's my spot. Thank you. Are you a plot driver? And say thank you when people, you know, thank you. Be a plot driver. Be a courteous driver. Nice Lexus. That was the little car lot I got this car. But they've changed. They actually moved up the road to a bigger spot now. That's a different car lot. They had a really nice Lexus. Um... Yeah, be a courteous driver. Don't be an asshole. <laughs> you know, especially if you have to drive a lot. I'm like, a, you know, guys know I drive 30 minutes one way to work. Don't be an asshole. Be a courteous driver. Be considerate of other people. Just be considerate of other people every day. It doesn't have to be just driving. Be considerate of other people every day. And the world will be a better place. All right. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes. All right, I'm almost home. I have to get off this little cut, the little turning lane, I'll say it correctly, turning lane to cut across the highway. This is usually where you see me cutting to go to work. But today I'm cutting to go home. And I may check the mail. I don't know, I don't know if there's anything in there, but I don't think we've checked it in a couple days, so it needs to be checked. Boxy Lux, guys. Who's excited for Boxy Lux? With the whole big shenanigans of the first Boxy Lux. And a lot of us were mad. I mean, we were mad that we didn't get in. We were up. We were clicking, 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 trying to get into that. And the website was just, it, the website just crashed. I mean, it was crashed. Um, check my mailbox so I want to turn in this is actually the top of my driveway which we don't use and making sure nothing's coming guys always make sure nothing's coming and yes I do take my seatbelt off for this because I have to reach yeah I'm excited for boxy Lux. now honestly I don't think this box is as good as the first box from what I've seen. 
Uh, what do we have in here? Ruby Tuesdays, a big envelope from Wells Fargo, and Sirius, which we don't use. So, okay, we're good. And... Yeah, this box, I know we're getting the Violet Voss. I opted for the little hot iron so I can take that. If we go on trips, I can take that and maybe it'll work. Oh, Lord have mercy at the sun. Check my back porch for any packages. Don't see anything. But yeah, tell me if you're excited for this month, um, the Boxy Lux, if you're getting the Boxy Lux. Yeah, people, that sun is like cray cray. This does have a little bit of tint to it, so it'll help cut some of that down. But, um, yeah. I'm excited because there's some high-end stuff in there that I would not purchase on my own. So, I get to try that. Um, and I don't have anything from Violet Balls, so super excited for that. But, the first box just really looked better. It just looked... Oh, I'm excited for the, um, Luxie brush set. And... Yeah, so I don't think I've got the shipping confirmation on mine yet, but hopefully soon. That's it. I'm going to get these groceries in, get me a cup of coffee and some brioche, and I'll see you guys on the next one.